Joe Zika's oh, oh, room. Yes, Joe Chicago I'm, uh, at Nookies at Old Town with uh, Tom Corbett from Tomacore. Hello. One of my favorite home inspectors in Chicago. Oh, what's really new in the business is uh, the length at which the real estate community is going to prohibit access to common areas for people that are buying condominiums or commercial con residential commercial condominiums. So um, in the last, let's say, year, I've been involved in maybe four or five situations where legal action had to be taken before the Condominium Association would actually give me access to the roof, the boiler room, the party room, the swimming pool, all that stuff that you're buying. Um, and you're buying a percent of. So, I mentioned earlier I was giving a little press. Uh, when, uh, when you are originally denied access and gained it, are, are you finding problems? Are they just being perverse and not giving you access? Or are they hiding something? More often than not, they're hiding something. Uh, and more often than not, they're attempting to intimidate buyers from getting information that could help them make a decision on whether they want to purchase the building or not. So by more often than not, I would say, let's take the last 20 of these where I have gone to, done battle for the buyers, argued with the property manager, argued with the real estate agents, or just found contractors on site that gave us a tour of the building when the real estate agents wouldn't. Right? I have found that there were significant deficiencies, major masonry, wall rebuilding, asbestos abatement, uh, structural repairs, boiler replacement, roof replacement, commonly big, 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 items. big buck stuff that both real estate agents and condominium boards feel like it's their option to deny the access to that stuff to buyers. It's not a good deal. It's not good for buyers. So buyers are demanding back uh, and they're becoming more savvy in other areas. They're demanding more technical information. Once I produce a report, they demand more from sellers. They're demanding more from their real estate agents. The market has gotten much tougher, but much more professional on the buyer side. Does that make sense? It does. Uh, what doesn't seem to make sense to, uh, to me uh, is there, there are some very professional condominium management associations out there. Are, are, those, associ are those management companies not cooperating? With I guess without being specific, I don't know, and I haven't kept track of which management companies are doing it and which aren't. My experience is that I usually run into flack at the real estate agent level at the front door. After we've already booked the appointment and we've insisted to the buyer, with the buyer, that they need access to the common areas, and the buyer said that they would arrange that with the listing, the selling agent and the buyer's agent. When we get to the front door of the building, the first thing I say when I meet the agent is, I'd like to do the common areas first. And about 70% of the time, even though my client, the buyer, has arranged access to those areas, the agents go, well, we'll have to check with the, con we'll have to check with the professional property manager or the condominium board. And, and both agents are saying that? Including yes. the buyer's agent? Yes. The buyer's agent isn't doing their job very well in that case. Well, I guess, you know, I don't think buyer's agents do their job very well in any case. You know? <laughs> So it's, uh, it's not surprising to me. Here's Corbett making friends with realtors as usual. Yeah, it's not all of them. Many of many of them are. They work hard. They work very hard, harder than I do. But um, and, you know, a buyer's agent should be working for their client.